What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a couple of pieces that we're working on. We're going to be doing those two wheel faces gloss black and of course our favorite gloss black is wet black from Tiger Dry Lac. So we're going to be spraying those down with that and then these two C5 exhaust tips we're going to be coating with a glacier black Cerakote. We want to make sure that they look good for the customer. He was thinking powder and we said you know Cerakote would probably look better and definitely last a long time. Although there are some high temp powders out there. We haven't tried them. We've tried Cerakote and we don't have any issues. So we're going to go ahead and get to blasting these. We went ahead and soaked the C5 exhaust tips in some rim strip. That way it could go ahead and just take off any of the dirt. There was really some nasty grimy stuff on the inside. So we went ahead and cleaned those off real well. We're going to blast them out so we can paint the insides of them as well. Not the whole tube, just the ends of the tips so they look good. And then of course we're just going to go ahead and etch the chrome. If it comes off easy then we'll take it all the way off. If it doesn't come off easy we're just going to go ahead and etch the chrome. It, since it's new and in good condition it will work just fine. We'll go ahead and throw the wet black from Tiger Dry Lac on it. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. Remember if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and if at any point in time in this video you find it valuable give it a thumbs up. It does help us with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and jump into blasting these parts and getting them ready for powder coat and Cerakote. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have got all of these pieces blasted. The two faces that are going gloss black, which is wet black from Tiger Dry Lac. And then these two pieces that are the exhaust for the C5. And they are going to be uh, glacier black. It's Cerakote and it's going to be glacier black. So those are all blasted. Now it is time to take these pieces, blow them off. We're going to soak the two exhaust tips in acetone to make sure that there is no oil on them or no grease on them. And we're going to blow off and outgas the two faces there. That way we can get them ready for powder coat so let's jump into that what's up everybody welcome on back so now that we got these faces blasted there's one there and one over there we are going to go ahead and powder coat them wet black from tiger dry lac we will leave a link to tiger dry lac's website down there in the description this is one of our favorite gloss blacks to do we are going to go ahead and vacuum off the back and the inner side and this outer lip that's why we don't have it taped off so we're going to go ahead and do that one we've got those two faces and we've got this set of stairs right here. We also have that valve cover, which is a test valve cover of ours. We dug it out of the trash can, and we are going to do something special with that. It is going gloss black too, but you're going to see that in another video. Anyways, if you've got this far in the video, you haven't smashed the like button yet, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to join our channel members, you can do that. There is a link in the description. We appreciate all of your support. Now, let's go ahead and get to this.
What's up everybody? So check this out. This video was actually recorded the week that we had a lot of troubles. As you can see, I'm at my house here in Missouri. If you have watched any of our lives while we were out here, you might notice the background here or the, the living room here. So I'm making this video because not only did we epic fail on actually doing these parts, we epic failed on the video. I literally just spent hours editing this video to come to realize that we don't even have have video or photos of the mess ups that we did. So I do apologize for not having any video here at the end or any photos here at the end. I am going to go ahead and check my phone one more time but the fact that you guys watched all the way through this video and that we don't even have actual video or any photos of what it looked like it is kind of frustrating to me. Um, I don't necessarily want to put this video up but the fact that I did some really cool editing and that it took me a very long time to go ahead and do it I am gonna put it up roast me in the comments if you will but I do definitely apologize for not having video footage or any type of photos of the mess ups that we did. We will go ahead and make sure that when we have mistakes like this again, that we do get these photos.